everyone uh welcome to my youtube channel my name is natalie i'm going to be reading for the sign of virgo sun moon rising and venus signs keep in mind this is a general reading so this may or may not resonate with you okay if this does not resonate with you go ahead and check the other placements in your birth chart um or check the cross watchers sign okay let's get some energy for the sign of virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Virgo. Any messages for Virgo? Any messages? Okay. So we have soulmate, gossip, bittersweet, despondence, faith, and renewal so is someone um gossiping about maybe someone that you have feelings for or maybe um somebody seems a little bit jealous of something because of a soulmate connection um it's like you have the energy where it's like oh well i don't care what nobody thinks it is what it is right now i mean like it's you have this bittersweet attitude about it, or just someone has a bittersweet about this connect attitude about this connection. Um, why soulmate here for a Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Message. All right, tell me about gossip here for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Gossip for Virgo. Imprisonment. Is someone like trying to make it seem like? you're not in the right um situation or someone is just trying to make it seem like your partner isn't choosing the right person when they're being with you like there's just some gossip going on and it's about someone being imprisoned it's like it's like they're trying to make it seem like they don't really that person doesn't want to be in that relationship like that's what the gossip is about Tell me about bittersweet for Virgo, please. Someone rising Venus signs. Courthouse. So something may maybe been settled in a court situation. Maybe someone had gotten a divorce and moved on. And I think that's maybe who um, is here maybe spreading some rumors, maybe gossiping. Courthouse. Something has been settled in court. Tell me about despondence for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Child. So this probably involves a child. Maybe someone has lost, maybe not really lost rights to their children, but it's like this court issue had to do with um, a child. Someone is speaking bad upon a connection, though. It's like they're speaking bad upon a connection, um, my condolences if anyone has lost a child. We have despondence next to child. Maybe someone could be jealous that you have a child. Or maybe they could be jealous that you're pregnant by um, this person, right? As if, like, why couldn't I? That, that should be me. Like, someone, oh my goodness. Someone feels like it should have been them that had gotten pregnant or maybe it should have been them that um maybe it should have been them that had birthed this new idea because it doesn't always have to be about pregnancy it could just be like birthing new ideas maybe you started a business a new job for most of you tell me about faith for virgo sun moon rising venus signs faith bad health so maybe there is some bad energy going on around you, but you're very uh, strong when it comes to it. I feel like a lot of you could be pregnant. Congratulations. But I really feel like um, it has a lot to do with you birthing something new again. See, the faith card has another picture of her holding the world next to her tummy as if she's like birthing something. Why is renewal here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Pathway. 
So I feel like whatever's going on, ooh, marriage at the bottom of the deck. So maybe you um, ran into a new person, right? And this person is like, they're your soulmate, but there's messages and gossip going around saying that maybe you guys aren't the one for each other. You could be pregnant, so you could be birthing something new. Renewal next to pathway. This is a pathway that you have to go down on your own. But um, marriage was underneath the deck, so maybe you are going down a pathway with someone that is marriage material to you. You are marriage material to them. And it's just you guys against the world. Alright, so let's get into the tarot for Virgo. What's the energy we have right now for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Virgo. we have four of cups a missed opportunity disinterest in something someone doesn't have interest in something or someone anymore or I just feel like maybe um, someone feels like this could be a missed opportunity two of cups water energy six of swords air could be Aquarius uh, king of swords Libra Gemini Aquarius could be dealing with a uh, air sign, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Page of Cups, Water, Nine of Swords, Air, could be Aquarius again, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I think that's you, Virgo. Um, feminine energy, cutting out things that no longer serve her. Um, being very confident in her decisions. She's very powerful. Tell me about this Two of Cups here for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Eight of Pentacles. So, like, maybe someone wanted to, um, maybe someone wants to put in the effort. I feel like if you're dealing with a new person, this person wants to put in the effort. Um, maybe they can be, um, a little bit scared about commitment and they think very logical about everything tell me about the six swords for virgo someone rising venus signs i'm picking up heavy aquarius justice libra they do want to make things right they want to move on to uh calmer waters with you they feel like that would be the right way to go um that courthouse card is coming up in my head again i feel like for a lot of you if you're dealing with someone new um, they're, maybe they feel like, if you guys just recently came into a, um, contract, like, let's say maybe you guys had just recently got engaged, maybe they feel like you're not interested anymore, because you're coming off as this queen of wands here, who probably has a lot of people looking at her. Something about the queen of wands here for Virgo. Someone rising Venus signs. Yeah, you're coming off as single, happy, and abundant. You're happy on your own. Um, you're at the nine of pentacles. You can come to the ten, but right now, if you look at her, she's very uh, satisfied with her nine. She doesn't really... She can get one if she wanted one, but she's just... Right now, she's just chilling. At her nine of pentacles, single, happy, and abundant. Financially stable and, like, you're just powerful. Tell me about this... Nine of Swords here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. The Star card. Someone hopes and dreams about something. Someone can't sleep at night. All right, here's the 
ace of swords at the bottom of the deck is because things became clear to this person that you are healing right now that's that aquarius energy once again i am not kidding you could be dealing with an aquarius or someone with aquarius in their chart for some of you tell me about this king of swords here for virgo please someone rising venus signs Queen of Swords. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. When they're together in a reading, they're not talking to each other. They may be married, but they're not um, being emotional at all to each other. You know, they're that married couple that are, you know, they just say, they're that married couple that argues a lot, maybe. Or they're just that married couple that's just not talking. They're being cold to each other. They're both very logical in their, um, pursuits and what they want to do and the two of cups just popped out so it's not like you guys aren't a pair but it's just some things have to work out uh, a certain way here tell me about the hierophant here okay let's do that again tell me about the hierophant here for virgo someone rising a venus signs that was the Knight of Swords, I just wanted to come out. Knight of Pentacles. So they're coming in, they're rushing in, they want to tell you some truth, they want to bring you an offer. They definitely want to communicate. Um, Tell me about the Magician here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. They just don't think you're interested. You guys are being very cold to each other right now. The Hermit separating yourself. I think that's what you're doing. You're separating yourself from this person. Um, you're going deep within about things. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You may be coming off as a little bit disinterested in this person. Page of Pentacles here. This person wants to communicate and they're going to be waiting. Three of Wands. Or you could be waiting on them depending on how that is going right now. You guys are being a little bit... um. It's kind of hilarious how you guys are being... The king and queen and swords are hilarious. Because they act like they don't love each other. But they really do. It's like you guys are just like um, on that... You guys are on different planes right now. You want your way. They want their way. You're very in your head and logical. They're very in their head and logical. Alright then. Alright. Give me some messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Virgo. Anything else for Virgo? Alright, what else for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so we have Twin Flames. Eternal love, reincarnation, passion, twin seeking union. Okay, so you guys' as higher selves are secretly um, in love with each other. Your 3D selves are just fighting right now. We have release, loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt. Someone needs to release their um, fears uh, just a little bit here. I feel like whoever can't sleep at night needs to... Um, get out of their head could be in, in their head and being the king of swords it could be being so logical about everything and trying to control everything and they need to um come and make some communication here we have split energy options unfocused multitasking decide what you really want um if whoever's in their head it was like they they were a little bit confused about making a decision about something or someone Someone is a little bit confused. Someone has a lot of options, so it's making them um, sort of doubt what they think about this connection. We have offer, gesture, engagement, wedding, rejoice in your union. So this person is going to come back together with you some way, shape, or form. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are going to get married. Um, that might be a little bit too far-fetched for some of you right now. Because if you're dealing with a new person... This might not happen, you know, within the next few weeks, but I'm saying that it has great potential. Uh, journal, write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey. 
This person is starting to understand what's going on here. I think you're starting to understand what's going on here um, about this union. So it's like they need, it, but it's all, you guys are in headspace right now. I think both you and your person are in a lot of headspace. All right, fall. Changes in the air. Your answers arrive in autumn. So your answers might, things might change in the fall. That has potential to change in the fall, okay, guys? So that's your answer with maybe um, a good time. It could be this fall or it could be next fall. But uh, Spirit wants you to pay attention to this season right now. Okay, Virgo? That was your reading. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I will see you guys in your next reading. If you needed a personal reading, um, the information will be in the description box below. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.